Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to SMS for uh, the statement on ICU capacity. I, I'd like to refer to a report which is found on the Singh Health uh, website. It really is uh, uh, follow. Uh, it's carrying a Straits Times article on ICU capacity. This is dated 13th of August, and I think this number has been quoted by uh, individuals online as well when Health Minister um, said that up to 1,000 ICU beds can be made available for critically ill COVID-19 patients if needed. I think what um, the numbers suggest and what the numbers we have now in so far as ICU capacity is concerned is that uh, there is yet sufficient uh, uh, potential for upscaling the number of ICU beds. Uh, of course, the assumption being that this remark that is quoted on the 13th of made on the 13th of August, uh, it refers both to the bed itself, uh, the ancillary equipment needed, and the manpower needed to manage the number uh, of uh, 1,000 beds. So I, could, I would just like to ask a question pertaining to this number. Is this still the operating uh, parameter, uh, or uh, has things changed quite significantly? Uh, the second point is somewhat connected, but it is uh, with regard to the measures uh, introduced vis-à-vis -vis the stabilization phase. Uh, I think there has been some pushback in terms of uh, retaining uh, the number of two individuals in a, uh, in a, in a dining capacity. Um, there is significant public uh, feedback that uh, this should be increased to five, uh, especially for vaccinated individuals particularly since the government is also opening up um, more VTLs and uh, lifting travel bans, or at least a, uh, uh, I think for the South Asian uh, a group of countries, this was lifted very recently. So there's a view that, uh, that can't quite connect why this number, this cannot be opened up in view of the number of vaccinated individuals who actually are not um, imposing on the ICU capacity as much as non-vaccinated individuals. So I hope there could be some uh, clarity provided in so far as uh, what is holding uh, the government back on this number, uh, on opening up at least on dining for up to five individuals. Uh, my third question really uh, uh, is, and this is the last one, Mr. Speaker, uh, follows uh, up on uh, the numbers uh, SMS shared with regard to the resignations in uh, the healthcare um, system, 1,500 for the first half of 2021, and, 500, and, and I believe an additional 500 were foreign uh, healthcare professionals. Can I just confirm what has been the recruitment numbers over the same period? Uh, minister, uh, SMS suggested that, uh, uh, not suggested, SMS said in his uh, statement that um, uh, recruitment of healthcare workers from overseas is continuing. Uh, so it will be helpful to have the numbers that are coming on board as well and not just the numbers uh, that are leaving. Thank you.